What's up everyone? Welcome back to Simply Tech Wiz. Today, we're diving into the exciting world of CPUs. Let's go! I know what you're thinking. Installing a CPU sounds scary and complicated. Trust me, it's way easier than you think, especially with a guide like this to walk you through it. Think of the CPU as the brain of your computer. It's what makes everything tick. Installing it correctly is crucial for your computer to function properly. A wrong move could damage your precious components. But don't worry, I've got your back. With my easy-to-follow steps and handy tips, you'll be installing CPUs like a pro in no time. We'll demystify the process and make it a fun and rewarding experience. Get ready to unlock your inner tech wizard. Let's jump right in and get this CPU party started. All right, before we even think about touching that shiny new CPU, let's play a quick game of find the tech treasure. Don't worry, you won't need a pirate map for this one. We need to gather a few essential tools to make this installation process smooth sailing. First up, the star of the show, your CPU. Make sure you've got the right one for your motherboard. We don't want any compatibility issues. It's like trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. Not going to work. Next, you'll need a trusty sidekick, your motherboard. This is the main circuit board where everything connects. Think of it as the central hub of your computer. You'll also need some RAM, the memory that helps your computer multitask like a champ. Don't forget the thermal paste. This magical goop helps keep your CPU cool and prevents it from overheating. Think of it as sunscreen for your processor. And last but not least, grab a Phillips head screwdriver. The smaller, the better. We want to avoid stripping any screws and turning this installation party into a tech nightmare. With these essential tools ready to roll, we're one step closer to CPU installation glory. Now, let's meet the main players in our tech adventure. First up, we have the CPU, the brains of the operation. It's a small but mighty chip that handles all the heavy lifting in your computer. You'll notice it has tiny little pins on one side. Those are delicate, so handle with care. Next, we have the motherboard, the grand stage where everything comes together. It has a specific socket for the CPU, slots for the RAM, and connectors for everything else. Think of it as the ultimate tech organizer. And finally, we have the RAM, the memory whiz that helps your computer juggle multiple tasks without breaking a sweat. It comes in the form of small sticks with gold connectors. Before we move on, let's talk about compatibility. Make sure your CPU, motherboard, and RAM all speak the same language. Check the manufacturer's websites to ensure they're compatible before you even think about installing anything. You wouldn't want to throw a party where no one could understand each other, right? Now that we've met the crew, let's set the stage for the main event, the CPU installation. All right, tech warriors, it's time to create our battle station. Find a clean, well-lit workspace where you can spread out your tools and components without feeling cramped. A static discharge is a techie's worst nightmare, so ground yourself before handling any components. You can do this by touching a metal object or wearing an anti-static wrist strap. Trust me, your components will thank you for it. Clear the area of any clutter or liquids that could cause a catastrophic spill. Remember, we're aiming for a smooth and successful installation, not a tech disaster. Once you've created a safe and organized workspace, take a deep breath and admire your handiwork. We're about to embark on the exciting journey of CPU installation. With our tools prepped, our components ready, and our workspace set up for success, we're well on our way to becoming CPU installation masters. Get ready for the next stage, where we'll dive into the actual installation process. Stay tuned, and let's make this happen. Section 5. Unlocking the CPU Socket A delicate dance. Now comes the moment of truth. Installing the CPU. But hold your horses. We need to be extra careful here. Remember those delicate pins we talked about? We don't want to bend or break them. First things first. Locate the CPU socket on your motherboard. It's usually covered by a protective lever or a metal cover. Gently lift the lever or remove the cover, exposing the socket where the CPU will reside. As you lift the lever, you might feel a slight resistance. Don't force it. Make sure the lever is fully open before proceeding. Think of it like opening a treasure chest. You wouldn't want to break the lock before you could see the riches inside, right? 
With the CPU socket exposed, we can move on to the next step, placing the CPU. Remember, patience and a steady hand are key here. Section 6. Aligning the stars, placing the CPU correctly. This is where things get exciting. Take your CPU and hold it by its edges, avoiding touching the pins or the bottom. Examine the CPU and the socket. You'll notice a small arrow or a notch on both. These markings are our guiding stars. They must align perfectly for the CPU to sit correctly. Align the CPU with the socket, ensuring the arrow or notch on the CPU matches the corresponding mark on the socket. It should fit in effortlessly, almost like a puzzle piece finding its perfect spot. Don't force the CPU. If it doesn't fit smoothly, double check the alignment. A gentle touch is all you need here. Once the CPU sits flush in the socket, you're ready for the next step. Section 7. Securing the Throne. Lowering the Retention Lever. With the CPU correctly positioned, it's time to secure it in place. Carefully lower the retention lever back down. You might feel a bit of resistance, which is perfectly normal. The lever is designed to hold the CPU firmly in place, ensuring a secure connection. As you lower the lever, listen for a satisfying click. That's the sound of success. It means the CPU is now securely fastened in its socket. Give the CPU a gentle wiggle. Don't go overboard to make sure it's not moving around. If it's firmly in place, you've successfully installed the CPU. Pat yourself on the back. You've just completed a major step in building a computer. Section 8. RAM. The memory muscle. Now that the CPU is comfortably settled in its new home, let's give it a boost of memory power. Grab your RAM sticks and locate the RAM slots on your motherboard. They're usually located near the CPU socket and are easily identifiable. Open the clips on both ends of the RAM slots. Align the notch on the RAM stick with the notch on the slot, ensuring they match. Now, gently but firmly press down on both ends of the RAM until you hear a click. This means the RAM is securely installed. Repeat the process for any additional RAM sticks, making sure they're installed in the correct slots as per your motherboard's manual. With the CPU and RAM installed, your computer is starting to resemble a real tech powerhouse. Now let's move on to the next crucial step, applying thermal paste, the secret sauce that keeps your CPU cool and happy. Section 9. The Thermal Paste. Keeping it cool. All right, tech enthusiasts, it's time to talk about thermal paste. Now, this isn't your average arts and crafts paste. This stuff is like liquid gold for your CPU, helping to dissipate heat and keep it running at optimal temperatures. Think of it as the ultimate cooling system for your computer's brain. Too much thermal paste can hinder heat transfer, while too little can lead to overheating. The goal is to apply just the right amount to fill in any microscopic imperfections between the CPU and the heat sink. Don't worry, we'll walk through the process together. With the right technique, you'll be applying thermal paste like a pro in no time. Get ready to give your CPU the VIP cooling treatment it deserves. Section 10. Spreading the love applying thermal paste correctly. Now for the million dollar question, how much thermal paste is enough? The answer is a little goes a long way. A pea-sized amount in the center of the CPU is usually sufficient. Remember, we're not frosting a cake here. Too much thermal paste can actually insulate the CPU, trapping heat instead of dissipating it. Once you've dispensed a small amount of thermal paste onto the center of the CPU, resist the urge to spread it around manually. The heatsink will do the work for us. When you place the heatsink on top, the pressure will naturally spread the thermal paste evenly across the CPU's surface, creating a thin, uniform layer for optimal heat transfer. The key is to avoid any air pockets, as they can act as insulators and reduce the effectiveness of the thermal paste. With the thermal paste applied, we're one step closer to completing our CPU installation mission. Section 11. Heat Sink Installation, The Cooling Guardian. Now it's time to introduce the CPU's trusty sidekick, the heat sink. This metal marvel is designed to draw heat away from the CPU, keeping it cool under pressure. It usually comes with a fan attached to further enhance cooling. Before you install the heatsink, 
Make sure the contact surface is clean and free of any dust or debris. Align the heat sink with the mounting brackets on the motherboard, ensuring it sits flush with the CPU. Gently lower the heat sink onto the CPU, being careful not to press down too hard. You should feel the heat sink making contact with the thermal paste and settling into place. Now, secure the heat sink to the motherboard using the provided clips or screws. Ensure it's firmly attached, but avoid over tightening as this could damage the motherboard. Section 12, power up, connecting the CPU fan. With the heatsink securely in place, it's time to give it the juice it needs to work its magic. Locate the CPU fan header on your motherboard. It's usually labeled as CPU underscore fan or something similar. Carefully connect the CPU fan cable to this header, ensuring the alignment is correct. You should feel a gentle click when the cable is properly seated. Double check the connection to make sure it's secure and won't accidentally come loose. A loose CPU fan cable can lead to overheating, so it's crucial to get this right. With the CPU fan connected, our cooling system is ready to roll, keeping that CPU running smoothly even under heavy workloads. We're almost at the finish line, folks. Just a few more checks and we'll be ready to boot up our masterpiece. Section 13, final checks, double checking your work. Before we hit that power button, let's take a moment to admire our handiwork and double check everything. Remember, a little caution goes a long way in the world of computer building. First, inspect the CPU socket. Make sure the retention lever is fully down and the CPU is sitting flush with the socket. Next, examine the RAM slots. Ensure the RAM sticks are properly seated and the clips are securely fastened. Give each RAM stick a gentle push to make sure it's not loose. Now, inspect the heat sink. Ensure it's firmly attached to the motherboard and the fan cable is securely connected to the CPU fan header. Finally, give all the other cables and connections a quick once over, making sure everything is snug and in its rightful place. A few minutes of careful inspection can save you from potential headaches down the road. Section 14. Booting up, the moment of truth. All right, tech heroes, the moment we've all been waiting for is finally here. With bated breath and a surge of anticipation, reach for the power button on your computer case. Take a deep breath and press it. And hold your breath as your computer roars to life. If everything goes according to plan, you should see your monitor flicker to life, displaying the BIOS screen. This is like the control panel of your computer where you can tweak settings and configure boot options. Congratulations, my friend. You've successfully installed a CPU and breathed life into your very own computer. Take a moment to bask in the glory of your accomplishment. You've just joined the ranks of tech wizards who can conquer the intricacies of computer building. Section 15, troubleshooting tips. What if it doesn't boot? Now, before you panic, Let's address the elephant in the room. What if your computer doesn't boot up? Don't worry, it happens to the best of us. There are a few common culprits we can investigate. First, double check all the power connections. Make sure the power supply is plugged in securely, both to the wall outlet and to the motherboard. Next, reseat the RAM sticks. Sometimes they might not be making proper contact. Power off your computer, unplug it from the wall outlet and open the case. Gently push down on both ends of each RAM stick until you hear a click, then try booting up again. If that doesn't work, try booting up with just one RAM stick installed. If it boots up, then you know one of your RAM sticks might be faulty. If none of these solutions work, don't hesitate to reach out to the motherboard or CPU manufacturer for further assistance. Their support teams are there to help you troubleshoot any issues and get your computer up and running smoothly. Section 16, CPU installation conquered, and there you have it, folks. You've successfully navigated the exciting world of CPU installation. It might seem a bit daunting at first, but with a little patience, a steady hand, and this handy-dandy guide, you can conquer this essential tech skill. Remember those key steps we covered? From carefully aligning the CPU and applying just the right amount of thermal paste to securely fastening the heat sink and double-checking all connections, each step plays a vital role in bringing your computer's brain to life. Speaking of bringing things to life, 
Imagine the possibilities that await with your newly installed CPU. From lightning-fast gaming experiences to seamless video editing sessions, a powerful CPU can unlock a world of digital adventures. And the best part? You installed it yourself. That feeling of accomplishment, knowing you've mastered a skill many find intimidating, is priceless. So go ahead, give yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. Now go out there and enjoy the power and performance of your very own custom-built computer. Until next time, stay techy, my friends. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech tutorials.